I know that in some way, in everything that I've done with my life, especially with sheep, but always knew that this was what I was meant to do. Sensión. I go by Little Ricky on Instagram and my studios in Miracle Mile. Before you, or I show you a little bit about my studio and some of my artwork, I wanted to tell you a little journey or story about how I started Sheep. So in 2013, in the beginning, about January, I was reading a uh, biography on Alexander McQueen. And this is the book. It's by Judith Watt. And in it, he referred to himself as a pink sheep and not as a black sheep. And for whatever reason, that, that concept of a pink sheep really struck a nerve and it ended up changing my life. I was about 45 years old and I was wondering about what else I was going to do with my art career. And I went out and I bought a little toy sheep. It was white years ago, but I recently painted it and I bought this little sheep and I bought myself a sketchbook. And in the sketchbook, I started doing doodles of the sheep, sort of just to see what I was gonna do with the concept. And eventually a shape took form. You can kind of see it there a little bit. And I started uh, realizing that there was characters that were gonna be coming out. So I bought a big sketchbook and I started drawing these characters. And I still didn't know what I was gonna do with it. I knew that I was gonna be putting them out on the street. And before I did that though, I started putting these out. It says, hello, my name is Sheep. It was a way for me to introduce myself to the street art community since I didn't really know much about it. But once I had some of the characters down, I started putting out these little sheep right here, like about this size, they're about two inches. And this here is the first sheep I ever put out. It was sometime in March of 2013. And it was up for two years, and I finally took it off the wall and I brought it home, and it's missing some legs, but I call it the prodigal sheep. And it's probably something I would never, ever sell. <laughs> I'm so happy, oh, happy that lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worries don't agree. Things that bother you never bother me. Things that bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine, ha ha. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having the one the whole time. Having got a lot, I don't need a lot, coffee's only a dime. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Just take it from me, I'm just as free as any daughter. I do what I like, just what I like, and how I love it. I'm right here to stay where I want to stay. I'll be right in my car. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. 
loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I haven't seen this in years, and this is some early work, so here it goes. See what I find. Ha ha. He's really obsessed with Keith Haring. These were works from back in the early 90s, his figure drawing classes, more Keith. It's all from the 90s. So cool. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pieces here. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what it looks like. I have a lot of art on the walls. A lot of this is not in online, but you can always DM me for it if you see anything you like. This is my collection of spray cans and all that stuff. I did this piece last year for my Anna Winter show. It's featuring Anna and Frida Kahlo. And this is the message behind my work. It's right. Uh, on the front of my door it says you we are all queer and that's what my work represents really is that we're all different I also wanted to share you with share with you what's on my floor and this is my dream project uh, basically I paint one sheep a day and I'm painting my dream onto the piece it's 12 feet long but it's really the coolest thing I think This is my bedroom, this is where I sleep. I keep some art there. 
portrait of Marlene Dietrich, a little portrait of Albert Einstein. And this is my mess, but it's a beautiful mess. These are some of the portraits that I take of myself that I turned into a really large piece. And this is where I keep a lot of my stored art. It's like tons of it. I did a series called uh, Fisher Price's Little People. It was a photo series and I did that for about a year. I did this for Earth Day last year. So anyway, so yeah, that's my place. My website's littlerickey001.com and this series has really been the greatest thing in my life. It changed my life around. It brings a lot of joy to me and it's a way that I get to express my joy with people on the street. I'll hopefully I'll hear from you guys soon or if you have any questions please DM me it's littlerickey001.com is the website littlerickey001 on Instagram thanks for stopping by cheers <laughs>